Hi everyone, this is Big Benedict. We're playing God of War 2. We're on the boss battle Theseus on uh, Titan mode difficulty. Um, so this is one of the hardest boss fights in the game because we only have the, the Blades of Chaos up to level 2 and uh, I'm facing a very formidable um, boss here. And uh, there's two phases to this boss and uh, it's, uh, uh, it's criminal in the fact that there's no checkpoint in between the two phases. Uh, it's uh, it's an extremely long fight, a drawn out fight that you can get killed on very easily, and to have to fight the first part again with no checkpoint is just uh, inexcusable. So I'm going to be putting a link, an annotation in the, in this video, so anyone who's listening can just fast forward to the actual boss fight. But I wanted to keep this cutscene in here to uh, just so I could introduce the boss fight. Um, it's uh, it's uh, it's an exercise in stamina, and if and if you can't handle it, um, I would recommend just uh, you know if if worst case scenario, start the game over and just grind for money on the areas where I've been mentioning to to get the blades of cast level three because he's significantly easier if you have the blades up to level three. Um, you know, if you want to grind for money, it's uh, that's what I had to do here, but I was uh, I tested myself here and to see if I could do it. It's very difficult, but it's not impossible. Um, it just takes some uh, practice. So, at the very beginning of this fight, you will die a lot of times because it's just uh, you'll die cheap deaths. Um, the, the move I'm doing here, that's called the Rampage of the Furies. It's done by pressing the uh, L1 circle button. And you can get about a 16 hit combo like I just did there. That's about the most I would ever stretch it out. Um, uh, you want to launch this guy up in the air after he does, he'll hit you like one time, he'll do a jab one time, or he'll do a jab where he goes one, two, three, then you lift him up in the air. To do that, you just hold the triangle button down, you don't hold it down to the point where you're launching yourself up into the air, because then you're going to be vulnerable, um, you'll, you'll be landing, and then he'll probably hit you. Um, uh, so you just hold the button down a little bit, and it, this that marks the halfway point of this first part of the battle, and you notice that he's got some uh, ice magic on his, uh, his javelin there. And you don't have to worry about, it's, it's the same thing it, as far as his melee attacks. It's just that now he's going to be summoning ice icicles on the ground. And these things are such utter bullshit, it's just not even funny. So right there, I did the, uh, the triangle, triangle, triangle move, but I can't actually do that move. The only reason I'm doing it is because um, I'm mashing the, uh, the square button a lot of times and pressing the triangle button a lot of times. I don't know the combination of but button presses, you have to get the feel of it. Um, it's kind of like the uh, when you're mashing the, tr the, s the square button a lot of times, and you do the uh, that uh, move where you uh, swipe the enemies and, and drive them backwards. Um, if I have to, I'll put an annotation in this video. If if I could, no, I, I haven't seen it in any list. It's not a move that's it's like a published move. It's a move that he does. So these blades are at level two, folks. Um, and, and this is on Titan mode. You'll see how much I'm getting damage. If you're not at full health. Um, when when an icicle hits you, you're, you'll be dead. It's just, it's such utter shit that it's not fair. And uh, I pity anyone who has to do this shit, just as I was pitying myself for having to do this. So he, you'll notice um, that, that he's up on this platform up there now. You can only attack him with the bow and arrow. So the conceit here, the logic governing this fight, is that you can only kill him from below by using the bow and arrow. Now, it takes magic to, to use the bow and arrow, and since there's a magic meter that limits the number of arrows you can shoot, um, you can't fire at him as much as you want to, and you will need to refill your magic meter so you can continue to shoot and damage him. So when the Minotaurs charge at you like that, just block. You can block pretty much all of the Minotaurs' attacks, if not all of them, I would say. But it's just that so much shit is going on here. He's throwing those. Now, those don't damage you very much, um, but you just have to keep on guard for the ice spikes that pop up. Um, so just mash the, the square button a lot, and then you, can, you have to get the feel of it to... Uh, I mean, I don't know how, I don't know what the button presses are, but if you have the Blades of Chaos to level 3, you can just do the triangle, triangle, triangle move. And like I said, um, that move can, can be done on the level t 1 or 2 um, blades, but um, it just, it's not convenient for you to, to do so because you have to press the button so many times. Um, always do the quick time events on these Minotaurs because that will give you uh, health and it will give you more magic. Um, so just every time you get more magic, just, ex just exhaust all the magic you have shooting this guy. Don't worry if he hits you a couple times with those magic bars, balls. They don't hit you that much. They come in fast uh, streaks and they come in slow streaks. He just divvies it up. Um, so now I'm at the point where I'm just waiting for the next two Minotaurs to spawn. I'm not sure the number of Minotaurs it takes to spawn. Um, 
it's quite a it's quite a few, and uh, um, so I'm just waiting for them to spawn, trying to do that triangle 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 combo, and I actually got it there, but I had to do a ser a lot of button presses to get that thing going. Um, um, you can the the uh, the square square triangle move does sometimes stun these minotaurs, and they're not that o overly aggressive. Um, and also the ice spikes can cause some incidental, incidental damage to these minotaurs, but don't depend on that to kill these because it won't. It'll, it'll never kill them. Um, I'm also the. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to mash the square button to do that move where um, it flings them backward. It's a really good move to do. I don't think it's any move that's in the published list of moves. Um, but the, the thing about this boss fight is that it's just so difficult because you're so weak, and these minotaurs have so much HP. And if you have the blades of level three, like I did when I was grinding for money so much, it, the, the the minotaurs are they just noticeably be they noticeably get killed so much quickly, quicker. Excuse me, um, because you know it's just that you're stronger. It's just uh, you have no um, advantages here. It's just uh, really bullshit. And if you die, you have to start at the beginning of the fight. It's just like why why the fuck would they decide to do that? That's uh, that's really being in inconsiderate um, as far as placing a checkpoint. So. Think, just be thankful that the grab detection is so spot on here that um, anytime they have the circle over their heads, you could be like anywhere near them and just press circle, it'll get them into the quick time event. Uh, just always do the quick time event rather than just slashing at them while the circle button's over their head. The circle button will never go away, so don't worry about like running to them in time. Um, if you have to, just remain back if there's an icicle in your way. Um, so like right now, if I did get hit by one of his icicles when they shot up, I would be dead. And um, I never, the main problem I had here on this run was that uh, the Minotaurs kept, they, they deal with some heavy damage to you with their axes. That, that was the main problem. I didn't really die too many times on getting hit by the icicles. Um, it's just a thing you got to keep aware of um, all the time. Just as you have to keep aware of what he's doing up there. Um, so as you can see, I'm not always getting that, um, that, that powerhouse move, that right there. That's like one of the strongest moves in the game, if not the strongest. And uh, it's just really convenient to be able to have to, to to be able to do that, but I can't do that by just pressing the square uh, triangle button three times because I don't have the blades up to level three. Um, so right there, see that guy? I uh, I start, I got that guy into the circle prompt, but it's not going to go away. So I'm not worried about having to rush to him or anything like that. Hit the grab detection spot on. Like I said, we're going to get our health back here. Um, I really got uh, struggling with uh, not the icicles, like I said, but just maintaining your health. That's probably one of the biggest issues here, because um, the main thing that's going to kill you quickly is getting a lot of hit, getting hit too many times by these minotaurs. Um, so just stay away from them. They actually have pretty good range with their weapons, even though it doesn't look like it. Sometimes they'll just chop you the fuck up, and it's it's really unfortunate. And uh, this is. Uh, there's a lot of difficult. So that was the move right there. All you do to fling them back like that is just press the the score button over and over and over, and you have to get the feel of it. I, I can't tell you what how many times it takes. You just have to have the feel of it. And I'm sorry if that's like piss poor advice, but that's the best I can do because this game you have to feel. Yep, to to beat a game on the hardest difficulty, you really have to get the feel of it down, um, and, and just you have to have the feel of it. That's the only advice I can impart. Um, aside from, you know, strategical things to look for and stuff like that and uh, things to definitely avoid. Um, so, my health is halfway gone here. Um, one icicle spike uh, trap and I'm dead. Um, you don't want to get too close to the wall. Like, you see where the line is? The uh, the semi-circular line. Of, you don't want to cross that line because he'll start sending up icicle spikes up there um, in the spaces where the door is up there. You don't you don't you don't want to go up there. So just stay hit, stay back here. The arena is fairly large too. It's got you know some wiggle room to move around in. And I don't know of any exploits or cheat cheats or anything on this guy. I don't know. Um, you know if somebody knows that maybe leave a comment for, for someone else who's struggling. You know I hope no one has to go back to the very beginning of the game to upgrade the, to the level three blades. But that's what I actually had to do on my other guide, and I refuse to do it here because. Um, I, I just wanted this to be a clean run, and I, wa I wanted this to be able to help anybody who's watching this guide, who I assume only has the blades up to level 2. Because at this point in the game, that's the only possibility, if you're going for uh, just a clean uh, run through the game, an honest run. Uh, I'm an honest dude, and I'm trying to uh, you know, just get anybody, everybody who I can through this section, because... Uh, this is, it's just very tough, and right there, the grab detection saved my ass right there, and uh, just be thankful for that, you know, very thankful for that. Um, 
So, another two dead. Let's see if I can kill him. I don't think I kill him here. Um, nope, didn't get him. I think it may be the next guy. So, there's two more Minotaurs to kill. Um, so, I'm just doing the... Uh, I'm hitting the score buttons many times to uh, either fling these guys back when they approach because that's also a powerful move, too. Plus, it also gets the, the Minotaurs out of the, the hell out of your way. Um, no, I failed right there. So, you see, it's just not convenient to do it. Um, but it's it sure as hell will take these guys down really fast if you can do it. Um, just always block. Never stop blocking. Um, you can't parry any of his magic attacks because we don't have the parry ability. Um, so it's nice, you know, when, when the icicles hit them and they, they fall backwards, it's always nice. Because it's also really good when you kill one Minotaur and then everything gets l a lot less hectic once you kill one. So always focus on killing one at a time. Um, deal damage to one of the guys because it's significantly less stressful when there's not two Minotaurs on the, on the scene. Um, so taking one of these guys off the map makes things a lot less, uh, you know, sweat a lot less, trust me. Um, rather than trying to kill, you know, both of them at one time. It would be nice to be able to fling those fuckers clear off the platform, <laughs> you know. It would also be nice if, I, I just don't know of any cheats or exploits or anything for this. This is just uh, really hard. Um, cheap he's cheap as hell it's not fair it's really not fair because at checkpoint um, I mean who wants to start all the way back at the beginning that's 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 rude whoever made this game is fucking rude okay so right there I think I wasted a couple of arrows um, because I started firing too early and I may have been able to take him down if I hadn't been so impatient but I was really doing well and I wanted to take this guy down and and at this point I was really sweating um, really sweating hardcore and I knew that it was probably just gonna take two more minotaurs uh, you know, two more, two more magic uh, refills from these Minotaurs to um, take this guy off the roof. This son of a bitch up there causes so many problems. <laughs> you know, um, so uh, just keep, uh, keep blocking. Always block. Um, just be aware of the uh, the icicles. They don't seem to target you too much as long as you're just staying in one spot. Um, there's no, there's no particular pattern. It's, just kinda, it's just kind of random. Um, just watch out for those chops. They're deadly. I mean, you can be at really good health, and you'll be at really safe health. And a couple of chops from these damn Minotaurs, like right there, I got owned. That really hurt right there. That really fucking hurt. And uh, just don't let it dismay you. Just realize that when you do these quick time bu buttons here, the, this mashing of the circle button, you're going to get a little bit of health back. You're going to get some magic, so you can start using your bow. And you could even use the bow and arrow right now if you want to, but I usually just try to save it up. Um, uh, just kill the two Minotaurs, and then just uh, do the... Uh, projectile sequence here um, with the bow and arrow um, so um, don't try to save your magic up too much because uh, you really need to take this guy down as quickly as you can so he fell right there thank god now I'm gonna beat this guy to shit because I'm so pissed off at this guy um, and I don't know if it's a checkpoint there may be one here but just don't fail it because you don't want to start over um, all you need to do is rotate the analog button and then just uh, do this quick time bu button press right here I think all you have to do is tap circle yeah Smash this guy's head the fuck in. Take care of this asshole. Then we're going to be moving on to some fun parts. There's a lot of steep challenges ahead, but that one, to be sure, one of the most difficult boss fights in the game.